in my last video, I uh, attached a selfie stick for my GoPro to my uh, boat cleaner um, device here. So this is a boat brush handle and um, originally has a, a brush that goes with it. So, and then I adapted it to work with this other bottom clean device that uh, the previous owner of this boat, uh, he designed it and, and built it. I just kind of elaborated on it. So last video, I went ahead and connected a, my GoPro selfie stick to this pole so I could go down real deep with my GoPro underwater and and look at the bottom of my boat because I had some bottom growth way at the very bottom. Um, it's a full keeled boat, pretty much a long keel. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I dove in the water with my diving equipment and checked my zincs and to do some bottom cleaning. I had barnacles right at the water line. So when I got down there, it was later in the day and it was really dark, I couldn't see anything, but I had my GoPro strapped to my chest and my GoPro can see better in the dark than I can. And uh, so when I looked at the footage later, um, I noticed I didn't go all the way to the bottom of the boat. The, the boat hole was pretty clean because so I had brushed it with that boat cleaning tool the, previ the previous owner had built. And it cleans all the grasses off pretty good. And um, so I was down there feeling around because I couldn't see. And I could feel a couple barnacles below the water line, but not really much. I actually don't think I really felt any, but um, I, like I said, I couldn't see because it was too dark. And when I looked at the footage, um, I noticed there was bottom growth down on the bottom, very bottom of the keel that I could see with the GoPro camera. I went ahead and put the GoPro on this brush handle. And in my last video, I went down to see what was going on down there. This boat used to be in a different marina. It was San Leandro Marina and they didn't dredge that marina for 20 years. And so my boat would sit on the bottom at low tide, which was twice a day, low tides twice a day. and um, so I, um, I was worried that maybe the, the bottom paint was getting wore off. So it's a special bottom paint that keeps sea growth from growing on the boat hull. So I was worried the friction of the boat sitting on the bottom twice a day uh, was wearing the bottom paint off. So that's kind of what I was, I'm thinking. I assumed it was barnacles, but when I looked at the GoPro footage on my last video, it was not so much barnacles. It was just a whole bunch of sea growth. It looked like a looked like a coral reef down there on the bottom of my keel. And it's only like about not even probably a foot up the keel from the very bottom where the growth was. What I decided to try to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is my scraper tool that I use for cleaning the bottom. And basically, it's just a big putty knife. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to this pole. That way, I don't have to go in the water. And I can, I'm going to see if I can scrape some of that off the bottom and see what's up. That way, I can expose the hull and maybe send my GoPro back down and look and see if I can see uh, if, if the bottom paint had got worn off. Or it might have been that I was using that that bottom cleaning device and I just wasn't going all the way to the bottom because the the bottom paint um, is ablating paint so it needs to be occasionally you need to brush it or scrub it to activate it because it won't it won't uh, if you don't do that then you'll start getting growth on the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and See if I can figure out how to attach this to this, and um, it looks to me like it's going to go right on easily, easily with the parts I already have. So, um, like I said, I always luck out on this stuff. So I think all I need to do is just put this bolt through here, and this is this is to hold my the cleaning tool on the bottom cleaning tool, and also I used it to hook my. GoPro selfie stick to this pole. So I'm going to also use it for this scraper. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this to go on. And it's just a long bolt with a wing nut. So, okay, I got it bolted on now. I think what I'm going to need to do is um, put some zip ties around it to keep it from wiggling back and forth. So I'll do that next.
Okay, it's a little wiggly. Still wiggly. So now another thing I'm thinking about doing is I got this underwater fishing camera here, and it's not as good a quality as the as the GoPro, but you but it does have this monitor built into it. So here's the monitor. Here's the camera. And the camera has a, um, a cable attached to it, so this this is waterproof and it can go underwater. Um, I don't know what it, the depth is that it can go to, but it's pretty deep. Um, I got 150 feet of cable here. I'm pretty sure it's 150 feet. And so I'm thinking about attaching this to the cleaning pool here, so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll have to see if I can figure out how to detach this. I'm thinking... I don't know if I... I don't know. I'm going to have to hook this up and see how close this camera can get to, to the hole and stay in focus. So I'll have to fire it up here. Okay, so I figured out how I'm uh, going to attach this camera to the pole, and it looks like it's going to work out really good. So I uh, I used the two zip ties that I hooked the scraper to the uh, pole. I also used them to hook to the camera, so that worked out good. So now I'm adding a third zip tie here just to kind of hold everything steady here's the setup so I have the scraper on there I have the camera on there and uh, the camera's on and you can see I hope you can see that it's on the screen and so this should work. So I'll be able to see what I'm doing, hopefully. Uh, the only problem is um, sunlight on this on this monitor. Uh, it's hard to see. So uh, when I get on the dock, I'll have to uh, see what I can do about that. I might have to, I got a cardboard box here. I think it might fit inside, and I'll probably just maybe set it inside the box. Uh, it has a visor that goes on here. I guess I can try that and see if that helps. But uh, at any rate, this is the setup. So I'm just gonna go down and start scraping now and see, um, see if this is gonna work out. Okay, I have the uh, camera hooked up, powered on, the monitor's on, and I can actually see pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the water and <laughs> see what happens. It is hard to see. I'll start up on the front where it's shallow. Let's see if I can get down to where I need to get. I just took some, it was seagrass right in the front of the boat, it came off really easy. So this might work. I can't really see with the monitor too well. Actually, this would probably work better at night so I can see the monitor. I can, the water's pretty clear. I can see with my eyes the front of the keel here and this is working good. I just need to put, I need to put some foam on the end of this down by the, um, by the scraper. 
uh, to, so it'll float up and that'll make it a lot easier because I'm having to kind of pry it up. So it's a long pole and there's, it's not a lot of weight on the end, but it's enough to kind of make it difficult. Um, I'm using the dock here kind of to pivot or kind of hold it for me. So I can do it like this with the dock and it feels like it's coming off easy. Whatever's on there, I don't know. Yeah, I need some foam. I had some foam and I got rid of it. I, I'm gonna go look and see if I got any foam I can put on here. I just uh, found some foam here and I cut it to fit on this pole. Hopefully this will help. So let's see if this, uh, let's see if this foam helps any. It's, ooh, it definitely helps. It feels like it's coming off real easy. The, uh, the growth on the bottom, I don't really even feel it, but it feels like I'm at the bottom of the keel. It's scraping off pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to remove, but it's coming off. I can feel it coming off. Okay, I'm just going to go to the scupper here, and then uh, I think uh, I'm going to move on over to the other side because there's more light over there. Okay, now we're on the other side, and uh, a lot more light over here. A few barnacles right on the waterline I was able to get last time. Let's see if I can get them now. I need more flotation on this pole. It just ain't quite enough. I need enough so it'll float back up. It's not floating up, but it is making it easier. Well, if this works, this will be a lot easier than diving down with my dive equipment. <laughs> Probably faster, too. Okay. I went to just about to the scupper here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my GoPro on and see how good a job this did. Because I don't think this camera is really doing too good here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and attach my GoPro and see uh, if I can see <laughs> what kind of job it did. Okay, now I'm going to attach my GoPro camera to this pole. Okay, it's recording, so I'm going to start up at the front here. <laughs> see. It looks good from here. I can see the bow a little bit because of the sunlight. I scraped probably about a third of the bottom of the boat going back. And uh, so I scraped from the bow all the way to this first scupper. And um, so I got footage with the fishing camera, which is not real high quality. It's like old television technology. It's the same as format. It's actually a little better than television technology. Um, 
but then I went with the GoPro, which uh, I filmed that in 1080p, so that's full HD, and the GoPro will look better, plus the GoPro works really good in low light, so I just went over it with the GoPro just to see how clean I got it, and uh, so that's it, and um, hopefully I'll look at the video here a little bit later tonight and see how good a job it did, and... Um, if, if it's working out, I just make, need to make some adjustments. I need a little bit more flotation on the end of the pole. Uh, probably about twice as much as I have here. And it should help. And uh, the pole's a little short. I think I need it longer. So I'm going to use probably some... Um, I have some PVC tubing. I think that the uh, stainless pole will go into. And then I can uh, maybe bolt it or attach it to that. So I'll have a little more length. And... Um, but the, uh, it, it, I could feel the bottom growth uh, right at the very bottom of the kill, and it felt like it was coming off pretty easy, which is, that's a good thing. If, uh, so if you, uh, if you found this video to be helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe.